see. Oh, all right, I'm going. Would you please introduce yourself? Oh, you know the routine here. This is my class from NYU. It's their uh, fifth session, the eleventh session. They're back here. They have their solo show. But you can, since you're headed this thing, you can tell us a little bit about the history of the Crappy Camera Show and your involvement in it and that sort of thing. Okay. Well, I am Sandy Carrion, and. This show has been going on here for 19 years, and it all started in the corner over there with um, myself and two other gallery artists uh, at a reception, drinking a lot of wine, and we just started talking about how we really like our junky little toy cameras better than our Hasselblads and Leicas and Nikons, and it was all film at that point. And, um, you know, we all kind of confessed to each other that we really liked doing this. So uh, the idea was kind of born over there. And I said, let us let me send something out to the membership to see if anybody else is into this too. So it kind of like, it grew. So the first year we did it, um, we had, it was great success. I mean, um, magazines contacted me and newspapers and it got great because of the name. I said, let's just call it the Crappy Camera Show. It's funny. You know, we love our crappy little cameras. And that's basically how it happened. That was it. And it's been every year. So we did it for five years. And, and you know, with all the press that we got, people started calling me, asking me, how can I get into that show? And I said, well, you can't. Because it's just for the, the people in the gallery. Oh, you know, but I'm in Ohio or I'm in Utah. That's all over the country. I was getting all these weird photos. So, there was another member at that five years later, Marianne Lynch, and we decided to, to go national. So we did that, and then we realized we need some sponsors, and we started, you know, soliciting sponsorships from, from some of the companies, and they were all for it. And um, uh, one of the sponsors was uh, a little upset that we didn't have international people in it. So four years ago, we. we Open it up to the international set. And this year in this show, we have five international winners. One of them is from Hong Kong, and he was here. Tonight. Wow. So. I should have been interviewing him. You should have been interviewing him. <laughs> He's right there. He's right there. Uh huh. There you go. David Boyce. Okay. So go get him. Okay, where's his work? Around the, just a long skinny piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to go interview him. Good. Thank you for doing You're this welcome. for 19 years. Yeah. I was thinking, maybe, I don't know, maybe one more? That makes sense. At oh, least one more. Somebody else can do it? You'll, you'll oh, hand oh. the to I'll hand it off. Yeah, yeah. Would uh, like an old digital camera ever be considered crappy? No. Because it wasn't made with the intention of being a crappy camera. It's it was made enough. as a high-tech yeah. camera. Well, the digital camera is from the 1990s. They were still high technology at that point. Uh -huh. Even if they did suck. David, don't go now. We just talked about Okay, we're going to now meet David.